Picture this. You're standing right here, but the year is, well, let's just say it's 66 million years ago. Suddenly, the sky flashes. A 10-kilometer wide meteor has just slammed into the Earth, over a thousand miles away. You might feel the ground shake, but you think, thoughtfully, I'm far enough away, I'll be fine, right? Wrong. The immediate impact, the blast wave, the tsunamis, those were just the opening act. The real killer, the thing that would get almost everyone, was something far more insidious, the heat. So what happened? As debris from the impact was violently thrown into space, it didn't just stay there. Gravity pulled it right back down. As these tiny pieces of rock and dust re-entered the atmosphere at incredible speeds, they heated up just like a spacecraft re-entering from orbit. But this wasn't one spacecraft, it was trillions of them, all at once. They turned the entire sky into a glowing, red-hot ceiling. Within minutes to hours, the atmosphere became a planetary-scale convection oven. The air temperature on the surface skyrocketed, reaching highs of several hundred degrees, maybe even over a thousand degrees Celsius in some places. Think about that. Water boils at 100 degrees. Your kitchen oven probably goes up to about 250. This was a global broiler. For any large animal out in the open, like a T-Rex or a Triceratops, there was no escape. There was no shade, no cave deep enough to offer immediate refuge from that kind of radiant heat. They were essentially cooked alive. It was a terrifyingly quick and brutal end. But life, as they say, finds a way. While the giants on the surface were perishing, some of our ancient ancestors, small, shrew-like mammals, were doing something very clever. They were hiding. Where? Underground. By digging burrows and seeking refuge just a few feet beneath the surface, they managed to insulate themselves from the worst of the thermal pulse. While the world above was an inferno, just a meter of soil was enough to keep the temperature survivable. These burrowers, along with animals that could take shelter in water, were the lucky few who weathered the initial heat wave. They became the pioneers of the new world that emerged from the ashes. So, if you ever get your hands on a time machine and decide to visit the late Cretaceous period, maybe pack a swimsuit and a snorkel, but definitely don't forget to bring a shovel. Your life might just depend on it. It's a wild thought, isn't it? If you were a dinosaur back then, where would you even begin to hide? Let me know your best survival strategy in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed this journey back in time, make sure to hit that subscribe button for more. See you next time!